Yo, what's going on, my pants down party people? How are you doing today? It is SJB here, and I wanted to try something a little on the ridiculous side for you guys. Um, we are playing on the longest map of the game, so that's the first thing we got to note about this. But uh, we're basically basically trying to get almost our entire defense based off of Buccaneers here with some support action. We've got Alchemist, we've got uh, Engineers here, and of course Churchill's here as well, but I don't really know how much help he's going to be, to be completely honest. Like, heroes are good and all, but they're not, like, the main form of your defense. So yesterday, guys, I just came up to you, and I let you guys know that I wasn't going to be able to make a video. Because I had some stuff going on. Well, it's finally time to tell you guys what that stuff is. It's intriguing, I gotta say. Uh, We got a puppy. We got a second puppy. So, uh, just so you guys know, Luna's still doing fine. Now, Luna's about six and a half years old. She's a good, she's a good old, she's a good old gal. Uh, but, um, I've never had two dogs before, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, and I've always wanted to have, uh, not just have two dogs, but I wanted to try to have two dogs that actually want to, like, play with each other and, and hang out and be good with each other and all that, you know, fun stuff. So, that's my goal. We'll, we'll, we'll see if it works, uh, overall. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work out, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, it, it could get a little wild for sure. But anyways, yesterday we drove all the way up to Wisconsin, to the breeder. Um, and we got a second Golden Retriever puppy. Yes, I know, so adorable! Uh, and it was about a three, about a three-ish hour drive. And then, you know, with the stops and stuff like that, it was about three and a half hours. So I was in the car for about uh, seven to eight hours yesterday. And then we also had to sign some paperwork and all that stuff to get the puppy. And that was about an hour worth of kind of just going over like all of the, the general puppy-ish stuff, I suppose. Oh, by the way, we're going to be doing this. We're going to be going for a Merchant Man Army. I'm going to try a Merchant Man Army Alchemist combo. No idea if this is going to be at all even a reasonable thing to get. Uh, because realistically, if you kind of like look at this guy, usually it's probably better off just to like get a destroyer and alchemize him. Um, but you could go for kind of a merchant man army and try to get just a few elks on these guys. And then, you know, as long as they're shooting a reasonable amount, you probably will get a good amount of popping power in here. Probably. So anyways, uh, yeah, last yesterday was uh, obviously a very, very busy day. I got about three and a half hours of sleep before I had to go. I was trying to get everything set up for the puppy and all that last uh, two nights ago. And then I had to wake up at was it, 520 or something like that to get ready to actually make it in time to pick up the puppy. So the new puppy's name is Lily. I don't have any pictures for you guys right now, but I will post some on the community page um, as soon as I get some uh, pictures off my phone and on to my computer and all that stuff. Uh, but she is adorable, guys. She's super duper cute. Uh, it's it's uh, it's been a little bit of a journey so far with Luna and the and Lily at the same time. I will say it's actually I think more difficult uh, to have two dogs at the same time because not only do I have to make sure that I'm you know taking care of the puppy, but I'm also going to make sure that Luna's not feeling jealous or sad or upset about the new puppy because you know obviously she's invading her space. You know she's had us all to herself for the past six and a half years. I want to make sure that she's still feeling okay. She's still she's still my puppy too. You know she's my little baby. So I got to make sure that both of my babies are doing a good job now and, and able to uh, uh, survive and have a grand old time here. Oh crap! I didn't mean to do that. All right, we're going to go for just spaced uh, whites for a second. I'm going to go space leads after that, go for a couple merchant men's, see if we can somehow defend this crap. Right now, he doesn't have camp protection. We're going to have to see what he's going to end up going for. Most players, I would say, go for a nuclear sub on this map. Not everybody, obviously, but most players would. So we got here, we're going to get our third merchant ship, and then I'm going to try to get my alchemist up um, and uh, see if we can make this happen. All right, still no camp protection over here. Oh, no, there it is. It's not camo yet. It's not camo yet. All right, let's get some alchemy action. Uh, there we go. We got a stronger brew at the very least. I'm gonna go for the stronger stim and stronger acid. And, but uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna get fast throwing. Screw it. I'm gonna get fast throwing on this guy. See if we can actually uh, power up more peeps here. Um, but as far as income goes, I mean we're not doing fantastic, to be completely honest with you guys. It's like all right at best here. And now that he's got a cam detection here, there's really I don't wanna say nothing that we can do to rush this guy with that'll actually kill him. But very few things that we can rush with that'll actually kill him. The one thing that's a possibility, maybe. Not even just space ceramics, but actually extra spaced ceramics. I'll show you guys how that's going to work here uh, in just a second. But 
Um, before we get too far, let's go for a another big chunk of uh, merchant men's over here. Just mix my income a little bit. A little bit of everybody. All right, here we go. We're going to try for that extra spaced ceramic rush. So what I mean by extra spaced is I sent out a ceramic. Send out a ceramic. Send out a ceramic. And then send out ceramic. And then send out a ceramic. And uh, it doesn't guarantee anything, but now we're not going to have as much bountage between all the balloons here. Uh, we're going to see if we can randomly get these guys through. It looks like his boomerang's just too strong here, and he's going to take him down anyways. So... I don't call it worthless or anything like that, but definitely not successful. Not a success. Alright, our defense is honestly kind of bad. If he tried to rush us here, it would be a little bit of a tricky uh, defense. But so far, if he's going to let it shine, man, I'm going to let it shine right on back in his face. Alright, you try to flashlight me, I'm going to flashlight it back twice as hard, man. Twice as hard. If not bigger. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, we got to boost this, obviously. Huge Churchill's ability here, hopefully at the right time here. Churchill owns that big, chunky ceramic rush. And I'm going to get a little extra defense in here. I'm a little afraid, to be completely honest. So I'm going to go for one extra bucket here, right here. I'm just going to get him up to the top path, up to a destroyer, for now. Um, eventually, uh, I'm probably going to alk him. I'm probably going to get him up to an aircraft carrier. You know, especially if the guy rushes me at all. That's probably what's going to happen. Okay, this is odd. Um, he's got a pretty big Moab weakness. So we're going to try for two Moabs real quick. You know, if he greaves us out a little too hard, man, I mean, we've got a chance. We've got a real chance here. We're going to go for two mobs now. We're going to wait until the next round changes, and we might do a double reinforced mob rush as well, depending on what he does. Ice Tower is getting sold. Uh, another boomerang popping out here. He's going to go for a bottom path. This probably will pop these guys if he uses battle energy. Let's see if he uses it. I don't want to bloom boost just yet. I want to I wanna bloom, 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 bloom boost on this next round. Bloom bloom. Oh, crap. He owned the crap out of that. Oh, my God. What happened? the heck happened? What the heck happened, man? like we were doing fine and then all of a sudden boom no we're not boom no we're not okay if we did a reinforced mob rush we'd have to go with a pretty significant amount of reinforced mobs like at least three and even then it might not be enough but i'm willing to give it a shot man three reinforced mobs let's go baby let's go i'm gonna bloom boost these puppies oh they're not spaced crap okay that might actually be worse for us believe it or not Wow, it's so laggy, man. What's going on with this game? So this guy's going to pop the crawl. Garbage. Oh, we just got smoked, man. We just got smoked. So I have another game that's just unbelievably laggy here. Uh, I've had a, quite a few laggy games lately. Not sure if it's Ninja Kiwi servers or if it's the people or what the heck's going on, but it's just it's laggy. It's upsettingly laggy. You can just see the balloons not coming out every once in a while. Now, it doesn't hurt us that bad because we do have the extra ships here. Um, it probably actually hurts him worse than it hurts us. But at the same time, I don't really want it to hurt anybody. I want it to be a nice, fair, reasonable... Oh, crap. Don't want purples. Nice, fair, reasonable game here for both of us. All right, is there anything that I can realistically do right now? I mean, there is a chance that his oh my god rush would actually be successful... But it's tricky with boomerangs, because even just, like, two of these guys can stun the Zoma God forever. And it's probably just honestly not worth it to rush with at this point. I'm probably better off going income or just spending all my money on these, uh, merchant ships. In fact, I've got one favorite trades already, so let's get a trade empire. Uh... We're going to try to get it in between round... Yeah, we're going to try to save up now in between round 24 and 25. And then I do have to actually think about defense coming up soon. I don't really have very much at all as far as defense is concerned. You know what I really wish I had, though? I really wish that I could get not just a stronger stand, but all the way up to a permabrew. And just permabrew all of these guys. Oh, that'd be beautiful. That'd be oh so beautiful. Alright, so all you gotta do is you gotta get it before the next round. It doesn't matter when you get it, as long as you get it before the next round, because that's gonna increase the amount of money you make drastically. Drastically. And actually, at this point in the game, I think our best bet is actually just to spam Merchant Man for a little while to get go zero income. Zero income right now. So the new puppy's name is Lily. Uh, she's a golden retriever puppy again. And uh, she is pretty adorable. And so far, I've actually been unbelievably impressed. We have, uh, we've been obviously trying to potty train her. Uh, and so far, she has made a one, only a single tinkle mistake inside the house. And we caught her in the act of it. And every other time, she's gone to the bathroom outside, which is unbelievably impressive if you ask me, man. Unbelievably impressive. 
All right, we got to get a little more defense up in here. We're going to go like this. We're going to go for a quick aircraft carrier. I'm going to go for the long range and crow's nest because I want to make sure that I've got the cam detection necessary. And I'm going to also alchemize him. So we're going to alk, uh, we're going to alk this guy, and we're going to throw in a secondary alk. We're going to alk Churchill. All right, that's going to be the way we're going to do it. I think we're going to have enough money here for a flagship carrier. Hopefully. Hopefully. I need mean, DDT's popping out. He's got TDT pop power, man. He's not worried. He's not worried. Um, he ain't rushing me, though. It's a risky rush. I mean, flagship carrier is also not an automatic defense, but Churchill, on top of that, pretty much would be. So let's spam a few more of these guys while we can. Best time to do it is, again, in between rounds. We got $555 per merchant ship. That's pretty fantastic, dude. Pay for something like four rounds. Plus, they get extra popping power. Plus, you get to sell them after that. So, uh, lots of extra cash flow over here. All right, no rush is coming out. Honestly, if he just rushed me with, like, two DDTs, he'd probably kill me. Um, if my micro isn't all bad. Don't know if that's going to happen, but I hope it doesn't. hope it doesn't. But I'm greeting it, man. I'm greeting it hard. 22 grand just like that, though. That's beautiful. Beautiful to watch. Beautiful to see. All right, we gotta we gotta prepare though. Uh, you know, my only defense realistically comes from these ships, so I have to think about what kind of ships I want to get. Oh crap! Carrier flagship is up, and with the carrier flagship, we do end up defending. Three reinforced CDTs hurts his income so hard though, so hard. Luckily, Churchill did a great job there, hurting him just a little bit. Carrier flagship's gonna do that cleanup action, and we're gonna get ready for a defense here. All right, we got all these guys set up, and then, um, you know, a single bad would probably be bad for both of us, to be completely honest, based on both of our defenses here. So, I think I'm going to try to overclock my flagship carrier here, and see if I can get uh, maybe a few more destroyers or something like that by selling some of my merchant ships. But I am going to go for a bad rush here. I'm going to do it. Just a single low-level bad. No guarantees. But like I said, his overall bad pop power is just bad. Um, his DVT pop power is pretty good, though. I can't really do anything with DVTs. Here we go. Regular old bad. Let's see what he's going to do against it. Um, we're going to throw it on a couple more ships. Oh, he's still going income, though. That's ridiculous, dude. We're going to start off with a quick pirate lord. So just in case he decides to rush me like crap ton DVTs, be able to slurp up some of them, kill some with Churchill, hopefully clean up the rest with my carrier flagship. I'm also going to go for my engineer, which I have not built at all yet. And we're going to overclock slash maybe even go crazy. I don't think we're going to have enough money for it, but we, I would like to. Ultra boost my carrier flagship. Life would be beautiful if we were able to make that happen. All right, so we're going to gauge how easily he's able to defend this one re one regular BFB. And if he can't defend it, like, even close, definitely going for reinforce. Def I think, honestly, I should just go for reinforce as soon as around 32 pops. Uh, or even just a regular right now again. Double it up. Bats are going to be tough to defend, man. Uh, but you know what? Let's prepare for the counter DDT rush, which I think is the most likely scenario out of all of this. So he's boosting. Oh, crap. He is actually defending. He is actually defending pretty well. All right, we're going to go for a reinforce, though. That does look like it's going to be pretty dangerous for him. I'm going to go for a secondary bat after this. I think that's going to be the killer. And he's still going income. What the heck? What the heck? All right, let's get rid of our trade empire. I'm going to go for a second reinforce. Bad. Uh, and then I got to watch my uh, defense here, guys. I really got to watch this crap. I'm going to get rid of some of these guys. We're going to get a few more uh, destroyers in the backpack here. Aircraft carriers and all that good stuff. Ooh, I should probably go for a DDT pop power on these guys. Uh, he's still struggling against that single bad, though. I mean, it's not like it's an automatic win, but that original bad there is going to be difficult. We're going to blue boost this. He's boosting again. We're going to go for a couple Elks on our team. And he looks like he will defend those Oh My Gods over there, most likely. He does. But now he's still got to take down two more reinforced bads on the screen. See what he's going to do. I'm going to start by boosting this guy. I'm expecting a counter DDT rush. There it is. Counter DDT rush. I'm going to boost my side. And it looks like we do defend. Absolutely beautiful. We defended the first set. I did use my boost, though. I'm going to get rid of... Long will this guy be overclocked for? I think it'll be overclocked for long enough. I've never used my insta kills here, so if, uh, if I need to, I can use a few more insta kills, but I don't know if I've got the micro skills necessary to do much more than that. I can do a few more of these guys and just go for more insta kills. Really, realistically, at this point, it's not about us uh, 
uh, killing him. It's a guarantee. It's going to kill him. But the question is, can we survive long enough for him to die? All right, so we've got a, a bunch of monkey pirates here. That bad's going to sneak right through his defense. Overclock is back in action. It looks like we will win without even a counter secondary DDT rush. Beautiful. <laughs> Sleepy, you're sleeping on the job over there, buddy. You're sleeping on the job. And my ridiculous Buccaneer Elk Engineer play. Actually, not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right, I don't have a solidified strategy that I was going for for this video, so I'm just picking out random crap here, and I decided that I want to get some experience from some of my towers that I don't have fully unlocked yet. Oh, no. First blood. <laughs> Feels like a dinosaur right now. That's what I feel like. Dangerous, dying, dead dinosaur. All right, we're going to go straight for a bomb race, though. Uh, no. 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 I'm going to go straight for a Churchill. Uh, I think that'll actually be a pretty decent combo. Pretty decent. Not perfect, though. Space Blooms will still be a little tricky, so we'll have to see if this guy ends up wanting to uh, go super hard against me. Even, like, Yellow Blooms right now would be actually pretty dangerous. But most people don't. Um, unless you're planning on doing for Banana Farms or Snipers or Heli Pilot Income or something like that. Or maybe Druid Income. Other than that... Oh, crap. I wasn't setting up Blues. Dude! Ugh! Yeah. All right. We're going to put Churchill over here. I'm going to put him in the chasing spot, which I don't normally like. But I feel like it just is what it is right now. Now my income's gonna be sucking for the rest of the freaking game, dude. That sucks. I kinda hate myself for that. But it is what it is. We're gonna go consistent, constant blues. We're gonna switch into greens for a little while, and we're gonna switch into pinks instead. Just a little while. I gotta like spend some of my money, man. I can't chill with thousands of dollars all over the place over here. It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, Lily is doing great so far. She's a very playful puppy. Uh, the only thing that she's been doing that's kind of annoying is she's been uh, nipping at uh, Luna's, I don't even want to call it her feet, like her hips almost. She's like just biting like the fur off of my, we like see little chunks of fur. Not like, I should say chunks, but more of like, she's actually biting like the fur and like kind of like, oh crap, here we go. Oh crap, here we go. We're going to go for a bomb race. That should be enough without even needing to go beefier, I think. Do I want to get the rapid fire? I'll just get it. Again, my income sucks anyways. What's, what's the difference at this point, guys? Not much. Oh, this guy does have druids. Okay, so we can go a lot of space balloons if he wants, because he can just switch into the middle path druid combo. If he feels the necessity. Oh, but I want to go for as much yellow income as I can. I'm a big fan, man. Big fan of yellows and pinks. Or yellows and whites. And my defense actually feels pretty solid right now. Though I will say that all of my towers have camp protection, but nobody is full camp protection, which is something I don't normally like to do. I like going either mortar, village, or wizard, or something along those lines that could just full decambuization. Sub, you know, all, all those are like perfect ideas, man. All right, here we go back to pinks or whites. Uh, get pretty close to him losing a lot of lives here, but he doesn't decide to go for any purposely lost lives here. He does have the bottom path through it, which means he does maybe want to lose lives. Like, maybe. I will say one weakness to my defense right now. You can tell I don't really have black pop power. So, yeah, we're going to have to watch out for that. A little more pink action. We're going to go for our ice tower over here. It's going to be kind of a goofy spot, but I think it's actually going to work out well. It's right where bombs drop, too, so that'll help out. Um, dude, am I... I'm playing like garbage right now. I'm sending out group pinks for no reason. All right, we're going to try just a bunch of leads. Get my income up, dude. We're going to go for a little bit of ice tower action. We're going to go for uh, top path. Uh, cold snapping ice shards with enhanced freeze. I'm feeling it. Feeling it. I'm going to get deep freeze him as well. Go a little bit more income. I can't chill with just 800 here. i got to watch out, though. An all-out rush could take me down. Just be straight. He could. He might. He should. To be completely honest, probably should. Though an all out gets this guy might actually be pretty freaking dangerous too, dude. Um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for my one bunk case. We're going to play it by ear here. He's going to be... Ooh, what's he getting that, rid of that for? Hydro Rocket Pods? He's probably got the money for it. That's my guess. All right, let's try it anyways. We're going to go for a medium-sized Zebra Rush. Smallish size Zebra Rush. There we go. Hydro Rocket Pods does pop out from our, like, six Zebras. Exactly as anticipated. I forced it upon him. 
All right, we're both going greens. I'm going to switch into yellows now. And I honestly think that one of my cool strategies that I could pull off here is to switch into a middle path helipala combo. Though they did get nerfed pretty hard in the last update, so they're not as worthwhile to use um, as before. They're still not bad, though. You know, they still pop balloons, and they still send balloons backwards, and they still pop moabs, do all that junk, and they fall over the screen, and they give you cash and lives, which is sweet. Okay, let's do it. I think it's going to be a good amount of Moab Pop and I'm going to throw them in the random corner up in the air. Though, again, these are not like automatic, amazing towers or anything like that. They're just kind of okay. They're okay. And you got to wait on your income for quite a while to get one of these guys going. And look at this. This is a downdraft here, and it's going to wait $7,500. Another, what, like 45 seconds? Ugh. But, yeah, about 36 seconds. Six times six will be close. Six times 1,200. Yeah. Alright. Anyways, it is round 17 right now, which means my downdraft's gonna help me out. Uh, as far as mobs go, he's got a little bit of a weakness against uh, reinforced mobs. We might try a reinforced mob rush. But I don't think a regular mob's gonna do anything. He's gonna start spamming the middle path through it, though. As soon as he gets that spam going, I mean, PFP's gonna do nothing. Even so, my god, it's probably doing almost nothing here. There we go, 1,000 bucks. Just flopping on the screen right there. Oh, it's sad to see. I don't have my support Chinook yet. Go. Chinook is up. I'm going to switch back into uh, whatever income I can get. I think yellows. Until yellows run out. Just about going yellows. And then, uh, yeah, I think... Ooh, you know, I think a reinforced mob might be in order here. Let's look at this cash flow. Cash influx right there. We're going for two reinforced mobs. But he is starting to spam them, them druids. Here we go. We're going to get this guy. Here we go. Boom. One and two. Go for balloons underneath this crap. We're going to blue boost right away. We want to sneak past the druids. Not past the... Uh, uh, this guy. Not past Hydra Rocket Pods. And here we go. If we sneak it past the Druids, here we go. He's going to go for a Rocket Storm. And with that Rocket Storm and the boost, he will almost lose, but he does not. But he used all of his bang. And now he's got no buck left. We're going to go for a... D oh, crap. He's counter-rushing me, though. Oh, crap. I wasn't ready for this. All right. We're going to go for one of these. One, two, and... Uh, we got a boost pretty quickly in here. All right. Let's go for another one if we can afford it. Looks like with the downdraft, we do end up surviving. We do end up winning. He's struggling over there, though. Let's blood boost this crap. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Reinforce ceramics. Can you sneak through? And we do. We get him to sneak through his defense. Double rush at the same time. And we both struggled so hard. But I was able to barely squeeze through on my defense. Support Chinook for the win, baby. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to press that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe. And, of course, have a super duper delicious day.